hello, welcome back. So, for today's recipe, we are going to be looking at a take on a Chinese spring roll. Now, these are very, very popular, and there are lots and lots of different ways you could create these and pop different ingredients in. But for today, you should have in front of you some chicken, which has already been cooked, some bean sprouts, some white cabbage, some spring rolls, some um, oil for brushing, some garlic and ginger, some sesame oil and some dark soy sauce and some phyllo pastry. Now this recipe will make two spring rolls so you can work in pairs and you will get a spring roll each. So let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is to take our bean sprouts and to chop them up into smaller pieces. Now we don't want them too small, we still want a little bite from them, but we don't want them in their full length at the moment. So just a little grip, remember with your claw, not too small, we're looking at approximately this big, okay? Don't worry if they're a little bit smaller or slightly a little bit bigger, it's absolutely fine. We still want that crunch, but we just want them a little bit smaller. So, just using that claw grip, remember, we're going to chop up our bean sprouts. Now remember this will make two spring rolls, but it can all go into one bowl and just be separated at the end. So like as I say, don't worry if you don't get them all to the same size. They just need to be a little bit smaller than what they originally were. And once we have chopped those up, we will pop them into a bowl. So there are the bean sprouts all chopped up into a bowl. So the next step, I would like you to grab your cabbage. Now this should already have been grated for you. If it hasn't, you need to grate it now uh, in preparation to pop in your bowl as well. Now we're going to take a tablespoon. We're going to take two heaped tablespoons. Okay, now heaped means that we don't need to level it off. Oops, one and two in the bowl with your bean sprouts. two tablespoons of your cabbage and then we have got some already cooked chicken breasts now you can buy these already cooked or if you're cooking them at home beforehand please make sure that they are cooked all the way through there is no pink in the middle if you see any pink in the middle when you cut through the middle just continue to cook it for a little bit longer okay because it is cooked we can use it on the same so again, using that claw grip, we are going to just cut up that chicken into smaller pieces, smaller little chunks. So that it is easier to eat. Now, when we are thinking about making these again at home, you might want to think about different meats or different types of fish you could pop in there. Um, so some Chinese spring rolls you may find are completely vegetarian, therefore we would just stick with the cabbage and the bean sprouts and um, maybe pop some mushrooms in there. Um, but if you wanted to add a different type of meat, you could add some char suey pork or if you wanted to pop some fish in there, you could pop some prawns in. Prawns are always delicious in a Chinese spring roll as well. So lots of different variations for you. So we should have our bean sprouts chopped up and our cabbage chopped up and already in our bowl. And we have just chopped our chicken up and we are now going to pop that in the bowl as well. So bean sprouts, cabbage and chicken should all be in the bowl. And we're gonna give it one big mix Get all of that cabbage, all of them bean sprouts, all of that chicken, all mixed in together. That's it. 
now that we are going to move on to the next step, onto step four, which is to pop a little bit of sauce on to those dry ingredients, just to keep them nice and moist. Now, you should have some garlic and some fresh grated ginger. I'm recommending about half of a teaspoon of each, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of your garlic. And we're just gonna pop that straight into the bowl. Right in there, give it a mix. Coat, again, coat all of those dry ingredients in, mm, smells really fresh, in the garlic and the ginger. Now, if you did want to make this at home again and you didn't have any fresh garlic or fresh ginger, powdered is absolutely fine. Right, now to give it a little bit more moisture, we're going to take our tablespoon and our soy sauce. And we are going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. One, straight in. Nice and full, two. And then we are going to add one tablespoon of sesame oil. Into there as well. And we're going to give that one final mix. Now you should see all of your ingredients are now being coated. They're changing colour. They're turning that dark brown colour which is the soy sauce coating all of, mm, give it a little smell, all of your ingredients. Really, really fresh. There we go. So we're giving them a mix. So we'll just recap what we should have already done. So we should have chopped our bean sprouts and added them to the bowl scooped two tablespoons of cabbage into the bowl, chopped up our chicken and popped that into the bowl, then added our garlic and ginger, our soy sauce and our sesame oil and given it all one big final mix. And you should have this delicious smelling concoction in your bowl. Now, we're going to take some phyllo pastry. Now you need a sheet each of your phyllo pastry so two sheets in total now it is very very delicate so be very careful that you don't rip it one two pop this one back out of the way and then with a little bit of olive oil we are going to just dust brush even the inside of the pastry again be very very careful because it is really delicate it can rip very easily we don't need lots just a little brush of oil onto the middle of that phyllo pastry just like that and then what we are going to do is scoop share between the two bits of pastry your filling mm, smells delicious we'll try and get it all off the edges we want as much as possible it along in a nice line in the middle. That's it. Equal amounts in the middle. Just like that. And then we are going to roll our spring rolls up. So to get it nice and tucked in, we fold the sides over first. One and two. 
and then we fold in to meet the middle and then over and we continue to roll nice and tight. Now if your pastry does rip, just grab a little bit more of your phyllo and that is fine. We're going to just dust our, just a little bit, just a tiny drop of oil just to stop the pastry from sticking to the tray. And the sealed bit, we're going to pop at the bottom just like that and do the same with the other one. So we fold, press it down and fold again. Fold this bit towards the meat and then nice and tight, fold it over so that all of those ingredients are encased in your pastry. And then your next step, once you've folded it, is to brush that pastry with some oil all over this time, right on the sides, on the top. And this will make it nice and shiny, nice and crispy on the top. And then they need to go in the oven for about 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. Double, double check, your oven times will vary. So make sure you are checking and checking. They should be nice and golden brown and crispy. Okay, so they're gonna go in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. While they are in the oven, your last step is to take approximately half a spring onion or a full spring onion, depending on how much you like it. And just using our claw chopping again, our claw technique, we are going to just chop some small discs of spring onion and just pop them to one side so that when your spring rolls come out of the oven, you can give them a little sprinkle on the top. And that is it. Voila, enjoy.